Hello YouTube, it is 3-4-12, that would be March 4th, 2011, and it is time for another comic book collection update. Now, this time, unlike last time, I actually have a good many comic books. Now, the first two comics I got while I was in Athens, Georgia, because I was visiting a college up there, University of Georgia, woot woot. And the first comic I got up there would be... Godzilla Kingdom of Monsters number 12. Check that out. That's the last one. And it was uh, pretty amazing. I also got up there one I'd been missing for a very long time. Godzilla Kingdom of Monsters 5. Oh, the storyline has pieced itself together for me finally. Yes. But uh, yeah, they were both pretty good. Especially number 12. And this one's a great story, Bridger. Now, uh, next, I just went this, the next few I got yesterday, these two I got a while back. The next two I got yesterday, it would be, uh, The Death of Spider Man. And this is the ultimate Spider Man, Death of Spider Man, and the most recent Spider Man Death. But I've been looking for this for a really long time, and the comic book stores were wiped out of it. And Ryan's and Noble didn't have it anymore. But, check it out, I finally scored it. And I haven't read it yet, obviously, because it's still in this sleeve to hide what happens inside. Yeah, pretty fancy. And they also just came out with the graphic novel. That's the full Death of Ultimate Spider-Man. So I'm thinking about getting that as well, if I'm not spending too much money on Godzilla comics. And speaking of Godzilla comics, I also got the IDW Godzilla Legends number 4. This was the best Godzilla comic I have ever read. You don't understand. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing comic. All Godzilla fans should get this comic. Heck, people should just get this comic because it's so amazing. It's so great. It really is. Next up, uh, I actually wasn't going to get the next two comics, but I got them for 10% off with free boards and bags. So I figured, what the heck, I'll give this storyline another chance. And it was Red Lanterns 5. Now, uh, Red Lanterns 4 was one of the biggest comic book letdowns I'd ever read. But Red Lanterns 5 turned that around. Big time. So, yeah. And since that turned it around, why not get Red Lantern 6? The human Red Lantern finally shows up. And these both have misleading covers, because this doesn't happen until this comic, and this hasn't happened. So, but yeah, this comic was absolutely amazing. So I'm glad I gave it another chance, because it's bringing itself back. And one more thing, this comic was free. Nice, huh? It's the Avengers vs. X-Men Program Guide. Now, this is pretty awesome. I read it. It has like exclusive previews and you get to meet the players. For some reason Beast is on the Avengers team. Don't know what's up with that. And you can follow the roadmap to AVX. And it also has prequel comics in it. As you can see. They're actually just really good prequel comics. And I'm not going to buy this because you know I'm already spending money on Red Lanterns. And I have to get the rest of Godzilla Legends, rest of Kingdom of Monsters, which I ordered. I ordered the rest of Kingdom of Monsters that I don't have, so I'll have all those soon. And I have to start buying the ongoing Godzilla series as well. So that's it. And now a short recap. Godzilla Kingdom of Monsters 12. Godzilla Kingdom of Monsters 5. The Death of Spider-Man. Godzilla Legends, number four. Red Lanterns, number five. Red Lanterns, number six. And Avengers vs. X-Men Program Guide. So yeah, that's my comic book collection update. And I'll see you guys later. But first I'm going to tell you that I'm actually going to do 
a review of the series of Kingdom of Monsters after I get it all, a review of the series of Legends, and I'm going to do a review of the Red Lanterns that I have up so far. So I'll get those done and posted, and along with your action figure requested reviews, and I'll see you guys later.